So let's get started seated today. You can sit cross-legged, sit on the shins, sit on a block, anything that feels good just for a moment as we pause and tune in. So here, just begin to register your experience. Notice any physical sensations in the body, any thoughts in the mind, or any feelings in the heart. Without judgment, just notice. Let your awareness settle to your breath. Notice just the natural breathing pattern as you breathe in and out of the nose or the mouth. And then let's deepen our breath here. Take a big inhale in through the nose and fill up your belly, fill up your lungs. Open your mouth and sigh it out. Again, take a big inhale here. Sit up a little bit taller as you sip in your breath. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Find a little softness without losing length. Again, big inhale, fill up your body. Hold this one at the top. Maybe you sip in a little bit more, expand. And then big sigh, let it go. And let the lips close. Just begin to breathe in and out of the nose. And welcome the breath to be smooth, steady, gentle. This breath will guide the movement on your mat. And then when you're ready, let's move. So inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale to fold over the legs. You can plant the hands around the spine, relax the neck. Take a big breath into the low back. Let that breath travel up the spine, mid back, upper back. And then make your way to tabletop position, hands and knees, no rush. From tabletop, we'll press down through the hands, through the knees, broaden across the shoulder blades. Take a full breath here, tabletop. And then exhale, press the ground away around the spine. Inhale, cow pose. Let the belly drop and the heart lift. Exhale, cat, press and round. Continue here. Inhale, cow pose. Belly softens, heart pulls forward. And exhale to cat as you press the ground away and round the back, tucking the chin. Keep moving through cat-cow motions here, just starting to match breath and movement. If there's any organic movement that would feel good, include it. You might wiggle the hips side to side, or circle the neck, or jump rope the spine. And just use this time right here to check in with your body and see where it's at. We know that every time we step on the mat, it's different, it's new, it's not yesterday's practice. So just notice where you are right now. We'll meet back in tabletop position. Spread the fingers wide, press down through the fingertips, through each knuckle, tuck the toes underneath the feet. Take a full breath here, hug the belly in. Downward facing dog, exhale to send the hips up and back. In your first down dog, pedal it up for a moment and feel into your body in this first down dog. 
the fingers spread wide still continue to press the ground away as you send the hips back Inhale to gaze forward between the thumbs. Exhale, take little steps up to the top of the mat, forward fold. Hands to shins, inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale to fold, soften. Inhale, stand all the way up, reach the arms overhead. Hands to heart, breathe out. A little breath and movement here. Inhale, arms reach up, warming up the body. Exhale, bend the knees as you fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale, hands to shins. And fold, breathe out. Find your rhythm. Inhale, stand up, reach through the fingertips. Hands to heart, breathe out. Adding on, inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. Halfway lift, inhale, chest forward. Step the right foot back, exhale to low lunge. You're on the fingertips. Take one breath here, lift through the chest. Down dog, exhale, step it back. Plank pose, inhale, roll forward. Back to down dog, exhale, hips high. Right leg up, breathe in. Step up between the hands, exhale, low lunge. Here again. One breath in, spine is long. Step to the top, exhale, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, spine long. And fold, breathe out. Stand up, inhale, arms stretch high. Hands to heart, breathe out. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, bend the knees, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Left foot back, low lunge, breathe out. Take one breath here, spine nice and long. Down dog, exhale, step back. Plank pose, inhale with the breath, flow forward. Down dog, exhale, hips back. Left leg up, breathe in. Step up between the hands, breathe out. One breath in, spine is long. Step to the top, exhale, fold. Half lift, inhale, lengthen the spine. Fold, breathe out, empty the lungs. Inhale, stand up, reach all the way. Hands to heart, breathe out. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Little different now. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, right foot back, right knee down. Anjaneyasana, inhale, arms stretch up. Down dog, exhale, step back. Plank pose, inhale, roll forward. Lower all the way down, exhale. Stretch your arms back, locust pose. Inhale, float the chest, the hands, the feet. Stay for the breath out, stretch the arms back. One more inhale here, crown the head floats forward. Exhale, hands down, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step it through, back knee down. Arms up, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold, hands down, step to the top. Halfway lift, breathe in. And fold, breathe out. Stand up, inhale, reach. Hands to heart, breathe out. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Left foot back, left knee down, exhale. Arms up, inhale, lift through the chest. Down dog, exhale, step back. 
plank pose inhale roll forward all the way down exhale Cobra pose this time. Inhale to press the ground away. Lift the chest any amount. Stay for the exhale. Hug the elbows in. Take one more breath here. Grip the ground with the hands. Pull the shoulder blades down. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Send the hips back. Left leg up. Inhale. Exhale. Step up between the hands. Back knee down. Inhale. Reach through the fingertips. Exhale, hands down, step to the top. Halfway lift, breathe in. And fold, breathe out. Inhale, stand up, reach up. Hands to heart, breathe out. One, sun, A. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. Chaturanga, exhale, step back, lower half, or all the way down if you need. Upward facing dog, straighten the arms, pull the heart forward. Downward facing dog, exhale, hips back. And downward facing dog, find stillness. Welcome the breath to settle. Energy of the body to settle. Again, just checking back in, noticing. From downward facing dog, let's step the hands a little bit closer to the feet. So you could take them a big handprint back, or maybe even two if we're feeling a little bit less flexible today, and then take a soft bend in the knees. From here, let's bring the right hand to grab around the outside of the left ankle. So a little twist here in down dog. With the gaze, look underneath the left armpit. And with that right hand, you could even pull the chest as if it was also coming underneath the armpit. So getting a nice deep stretch across the back here in this twist. Let's take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Inhale, slowly return the right hand back down. Then we'll move to the second side. Right hand roots firmly. Left hand comes to outside of the right ankle. We can keep that little bend in the knees here and then turn the gaze up underneath the right armpit. And we can imagine even our chest is pulling through underneath the armpit. See if we can keep the hips just as they were in downward facing dog. Let's take a full breath in. Relaxing breath out. <sighs> Inhale, replant the hand. And exhale to walk the hands all the way to the feet, forward fold, back of your mat. Let the head hang heavy. You might grab opposite elbows here and rock doll, swing side to side. And then release the hands down. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale to fold. Stand all the way up. Breathe in. Reach the arms up. Grab the left wrist with the right hand. Exhale, side body stretch. Stretch up and over to the right. And then option to step the left foot behind you in a little bit of a curtsy. You can bend that right knee and get a little bit more length through the left side of the body here. Take a full breath in. Gaze might go up. And a full breath out. Back to center, inhale, arms reach. Second side, grab the right wrist, exhale, up and over. And then again, option to stay here, or you might step that right foot back, finding a little bit of a curtsy position here as we lengthen through the right side of the body. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out again. Maybe the gaze goes up. Back to center, inhale, reach. Release the hands behind the back, exhale. Interlace the fingers. If you can't quite interlace today, you can grab a towel or a shirt. And then reach those knuckles down to the ground. Soften in the knees here, pull the hip points up and lift through the chest. Maybe the gaze goes up, maybe the chest points up to the ceiling. 
Take a full breath, your shoulder blades pull down the back. Exhale to fold forward, keeping that grip in the hands. And you can let the knees bend a little or a lot of it here. Let the neck really relax down. And imagine those arms were going to go all the way overhead and touch down at the ground in front of you. It's so just letting gravity do some work here. Continue to let the neck and the head relax. You might shake the head, nod the head. Let's take a full breath in. And a full exhale. Gently release the hands to the low back and then to the ground. And let's crawl the hands forward, slowly coming back to downward facing dog, our full length downward facing dog. All right. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, bring the back knee down. On Janayasana, inhale, arms stretch up. And then release the hands to the top thigh, both hands just one on top of the other here. Press the meat of the thigh away from you. Lift the hip points up so we're not sticking the booty back. Lift through the chest. Really feel that length in the front side of that left hip. Take a full breath here, reach through the crown of the head, half splits, exhale, frame the front foot, shift the hips back, straightening out that front leg. You might flex the foot here. You might dig that right heel into the ground and gently pull back, just lighting up muscles in the back of the leg. Maybe any blocks underneath the hands here. It's a great way to bring the ground closer to you. You could use any prop you have. And I like to think about pulling the chest forward, finding length in the spine. Now this is a great place to stay. If you'd like to get a little bit dynamic here, then we'll go back and forth from our lunge to half splits for about four rounds. So inhale to bend the knee. You might pull the chest forward. And the exhale, return to half splits. Maybe you round the spine. Inhale, bend the knee, pull the chest forward. Half splits, exhale, round. Twice more, inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, straighten back out. Last time, inhale, bend. And exhale, straighten. We'll pause here, plant the left hand, reach the right arm up to the sky. Half splits, twist, really getting into the TFL muscles here on the side of the right leg. And notice if the right hip wanted to lift up with the hand, can we keep that hip down, right and left hip in line? Keep flexing the right foot and imagine heel digging into the mat and pulling back. We'll take one more full breath as you turn the chest. Exhale, hand down. Rebend into the knee, breathe in. And then right here, root down through the left hand, reach the right arm back, palm faced out. You can stay here or bend the back knee, catch the foot and hug the heel towards the bum. If we have that foot, you can think about the foot kicking into the hand and the hand pulling back into the foot. Turn that chest, breathe in. And then very gently release the foot, release the hand, step back to downward facing dog. Plank pose, inhale, roll forward. Exhale, vinyasa. So that might be cobra pose, locust pose, upward facing dog, anything that feels good to you. So many valid options. Just whatever gets you back to downward facing dog and feels the best for you. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands, bring the back knee down. Inhale, arms reach. Release the hands to the top thigh, breathe out. Hands press down and the meat of the thigh presses towards the knee, making a little more space for the front of the hips. Think about the front of the pelvis rim lifting up, tailbone lengthening down, chest pulling towards the ceiling. Take a full breath here, link through the whole front line of the body. Half splits, exhale, frame the front foot, shift the hips back, straightening out that leg. In just a moment in half splits, you can flex that foot. Maybe it feels good to dig the heel down and energetically drag back. 
lighting up the hamstrings. Again, always option to grab some blocks underneath the hands. And we might stay here sinking in or we'll move again a little dynamically. You can inhale, bend into the knee, pull the chest forward. Exhale, half split, straighten the leg, maybe round the spine. Inhale, bend the knee, finding cow. And exhale, half splits with a little bit of cat. Inhale, bend, pull the chest. Exhale, straighten the leg. Last time, inhale, bend. And exhale, straighten. And we'll pause here. Right hand plants, left arm peels up. Again, notice if that left hip went into peel up as well, keep it down, left and right hip level. Keep flexing the left foot, digging the heel down, pulling those toes back. Take a full breath in, turn the chest. Exhale, release the hand, rebend into the knee, and we'll step back, downward facing dog. Oh wait, nope, stay right here in that lunge, and then let's stretch the left arm back. Can't forget that quad stretch. So you might stay right here or we'll bend the back knee and catch that back foot, hugging the heel towards the bum. And then we can kick the foot into the hand, hand back into the foot and turn the chest a little bit more. Let's take a full breath here and then very gently release the foot, release the hand. And now we'll step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to plank pose. Vinyasa, your way. Know that you can always skip that and head back to downward facing dog. So your call, breath by breath. That vinyasa segment is just linking breath and movement and listening to the body and doing what feels good. All right. Downward facing dog is where we'll meet. Know that you can take a child's pose at any time. From downward facing dog, inhale the right leg up and exhale knee to left elbow twisting across the body. Inhale, reach the leg back up, bend the knee, stack the hips open. You can think about that right knee rolling up towards the ceiling, right hip turning up towards the ceiling. Keep pressing down strongly through the right hand, emphasizing that length through the right side of the body. Take a full breath here. Exhale, knee to nose. Pause, hold, take one inhale. Step that foot up between the hands, breathe out. Warrior two, back heel down, slowly rise up. And pause in warrior two. Feel the feet connected to the ground, bending into that front knee. And the hips nice and level here. Uh, notice if the pelvis is pressing back or, or pressing out to the side. Can we find that nice, even quality to the hips that makes way for a long spine, a nice strong back, and a broad chest and upper back as the arms reach. Take a full breath in. Exhale, straighten the front leg, reach forward and down, triangle pose, stretch that left arm up. Take a full breath here in Trikonasana and then settle in. So feet connect down strong, legs nice and strong, core nice and strong. You can welcome softness in the knees, softness in the hips. This is a great place to stay or we'll find a little more balance work with Ardha Chandrasana. You can root down through the right foot Moving to half moon, we'll shift the weight forward. You can bend that right knee to start as we float the left leg up and then straighten out that right leg. Left heel stretches back, firm the thigh, and think about that thigh reaching more and more towards the ceiling from deep in the hip socket. Left finger stretch up. Right hand might connect to a block. Option to stay here or we'll bend the left knee catch that left ankle or foot and then 
Chapasana here. So we hug the heel towards the bum, but we also press the hips forward, press the chest forward, and even like we're making a little back bend here with the spine, imagine that the top of your head was gonna reach for the bottom of your foot. We'll take one more breath here. And exhale slow as you can, gently return to warrior two from wherever you're coming from. Flip the front palm, inhale to reverse, stretch up and back. Star pose, exhale, straight arms, straight legs, and release the hands to the hips. Let's have our feet parallel here, all 10 toes pointing to one edge of your mat. Take a soft bend in the knees, take a full breath in, lift through the chest. Wide leg forward fold, press the bum back release the hands down. If the hands don't touch the ground, grab a block or a table or something to bring underneath the hands. And then left fingertips underneath the face, right hand to the low back. Inhale to pull the chest forward. Think half lift in the spine. Exhale, turn the chest to the right. Maybe right arm reaches up. If you're a little bit more flexy this morning, maybe left hand starts to walk more towards the right as you continue to turn the chest. Maybe the left hand grabs around the right ankle and we keep spending the chest open. Maybe that right hand even sneaks around the small of the back and grabs the inner left thigh. We'll take one more full breath here. And exhale, slowly return to center. Halfway lift in the spine, inhale, left hand to low back, right hand under the face, and breathe out, turn the chest to the left. Same options here, left arm might reach up. Uh, maybe the right hand crawls a little bit more towards the left, maybe you test the waters. Uh, maybe that hand comes all the way to the outside of the left ankle as we keep pressing the ground away and lifting the chest up. Maybe it feels good to bend the left elbow, sneak the arm around the back, and catch the inner right groin. Take a full breath here. On your exhale, slowly return to center. Halfway lift in the spine, breathe in. Low lunge, top of the mat, exhale to frame the front foot. Plank pose, inhale, step back. Vinyasa, or skip it, downward facing dog. Second side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee right elbow. Inhale, stretch it back. Bend the top knee, turn that top hip up. Stacking, open the hips here. Think about the left heel coming towards the butt cheeks as the left knee, left hip turn up. Spread left fingers, press the ground away with the hands. Emphasize that length on the left side of the body. Take a full breath in. Exhale, knee to nose. Stay here, one breath in. Step the foot between the hands, exhale. Back heel down, warrior two, second side, rise up. Warrior two, give yourself a moment to check in. Find the placement of your feet. Find that knee moving forward, tracking above the front ankle. Pelvis nice and level here, right and left hip in one even plane. From there, we find that length in the spine, that stability from our center, from which we can reach out. Broad across chest and upper back as the fingertips reach. Take a full breath in, warrior two. Triangle pose, straighten the front leg, reach forward and down. You can connect the left hand to a block or your shin as you stretch those right fingertips up. The feet stay rooted and strong. From that press into the ground with the feet, we find strength in the legs, strength in the core, energy out of the fingertips but still not sinking into our joints, knees and hips stay soft. Let's take a full breath here, turning the chest up. Maybe you stay or Ardha Chandrasana, half moon, root into the front foot, bend the knee and start to shift the weight forward, floating the back leg up. 
Gazing down can help with balance here. A block can really help with balance here. Maybe we want an extra challenge. You can bend the right knee, catch the foot or ankle, and hug the heel towards the bum. As we hug that heel in, think about pressing the hip points forward, pulling the chest forward, and even making a little bit of a back bend here as if you were gonna touch top of the head to the bottom of the foot. Take a full breath in. Slowly as you can, we'll step the right foot back to warrior two. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse. Star pose, straight arms, straight legs, hands to hips. This time heels in, toes out, heels in, toes out. Bend the knees, sink the hips, goddess pose. Bring the hands to the tops of the thighs. Take a full breath in, pull the chest forward, arms nice and straight. Exhale, dip the left shoulder in, gaze to the right. If you'd like to get a little bit more in this twist, then you can bring the left forearm to the left thigh and really press that left thigh open as you turn your chest to the right. Take a full breath here and a full breath out. Keep pressing thighs apart. Back to center, inhale, lift the chest, both hands on the thighs. And then second side, dip the right shoulder in, breathe out. Again, option to bring the right forearm down to the right thigh and really press that baby open. Keep turning the chest. Take a full breath here and a full breath out. Back to center, breathe in, hands to thighs, chest lifted. Exhale, forward fold here, wide leg forward fold. Bring the hands down, turn the feet in, relax the head and the neck. Halfway lift in the spine, breathe in. Exhale, crawl the hands forward to frame the left foot. Plank pose, inhale, step back. Vinyasa or skip it, downward facing dog is where we'll meet. And we got one more small sequence here, and then we'll be cooling down. Well, from downward facing dog, inhale to gaze forward between the hands. Exhale, travel up to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in, and fold, breathe out. Chair pose, inhale, bend the knees, sink the hips, arms up. Press down strongly through your right foot. Hover your left heel above the ground. Hover your whole left foot above the ground. Take one breath here. Keep the hips hugging into the center. Exhale, step the left foot back. High lunge. In this high lunge, let's bring the palms together to touch and fingertips reaching up to the ceiling. Bend the elbows and bring the backs of the thumbs, the thumbs to the back of the neck or back of the skull. And then lift the elbows up to the sky, press the back of the head into the hands as you lift the chest. Continue to keep that bend in the front knee and think about again, pulling the front rim of the pelvis up. Gentle back bend here, take a full breath in, keep lifting through the chest. Stay here, one more breath out. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale to hinge forward and sweep your arms back. Root down through that front foot. Warrior three airplane arms. Start to shift the weight forward as you float the back leg up. Can we keep the left hip in line with the right hip instead of turning open? So left and right hip in line. Squeeze into the center. Stretch that left heel back. Take a full breath in. Pyramid pose. Exhale, left foot steps back. We'll straighten both legs as we bow forward to frame the front foot. This is another place that I really like to have something underneath my hands, uh, just because I personally have trouble getting hands to the ground comfortably here. That back heel could be rooted or lifted. The stance could be really long or short. So find the pyramid that works best for you. Can we keep the pelvis level here? Imagine that there was a full cup of 
coffee on your on your sacrum on the back of your pelvis and you don't want it to spill so keep this area nice and even you might stay right here or find that half lift shape in the spine pull the chest forward lengthen the spine left hand will stay on the mat or block right hand to low back take a full breath in pull that chest forward revolved pyramid turn the chest to the right a little pyramid twist here maybe right arm reaches up if you'd like and can we keep that right heel digging into the mat and you can think about the left heel reaching back as well again it doesn't have to be rooted to the mat as you turn the chest maybe the gaze goes to the right take a full breath in stay for your breath out one more inhale here exhale hand down and we'll step back downward facing dog plank pose inhale roll forward vinyasa or skip it downward facing dog Inhale, gaze forward between the hands, and exhale, travel up to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in, and fold, breathe out. Chair pose, inhale, bend the knees, sink the hips, arms up. And now we shift that weight into the left foot, hover the right heel, hover the whole right foot without swaying the body to one side or the other. Take one breath here, find that stability. Exhale, slow, step that foot back to high lunge. Take one breath here, really lifting through the chest, connect the palms. Exhale, bend the elbows, bring the thumbs to the back of the neck or the, really the base of the skull. And then we'll press the head, the head back into the hands as we reach the elbows up, lift the chest up, and even lift that front rim of the pelvis up. So we're lengthening the tailbone down really just supporting this gentle back bend. Take a full breath here as we open up the whole front side of the body. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, reach the arms back up to high lunge. Exhale to hinge forward and sweep your arms back. Root down through the left foot. For your three, shift the weight forward, float the back leg up. Reach through the heel. Can we level out the pelvis, right and left hip in line, squeezing into the center. Long line from crown of the head through the back heel. Take a full breath in. Pyramid pose, step the right foot back, fingertips down to frame the front foot. And then just a moment to sink into your pyramid pose, finding the shape, adjusting as you need, especially as we begin to set up for a revolved pyramid. So maybe the stance is a little broader or longer or shorter. Maybe hands are on blocks or fingertips on the ground. I like the right hand personally on a block or something a little more elevated as I move into a twist. So let's bring the left hand to the low back. Take a full breath and pull the chest forward. And then turn the chest to the left. Exhale, twisted pyramid here or a vault triangle. Maybe left arm stretches up. And then again, left heel stays connected to the ground. You could even imagine it digging in and gently pulling back. And if that right heel is lifted up, that's okay. Imagine it reaching down though, just to get that length through the back thigh. Take a full breath in, left fingertip stretch. Full exhale, continue to turn the chest. Take one more breath here. Exhale, hand down, back to pyramid. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And we'll step back, downward facing dog. Plank pose, inhale, roll forward. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, right foot hovers above the mat. Exhale, knee right elbow. Inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow, nice and slow. Inhale, back. 
Exhale, foot down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee left elbow. Inhale, hover that foot back. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow. Inhale, back. Exhale, foot down. Final breath, plank pose. Exhale, knees down, lower all the way down to your belly, nice and slow. <sighs> Relax here a moment. And then the scorpion stretch, reach that right arm straight out to the right, palm face down, bend the left knee, and rock your weight onto the right side of the body, stamping that left foot behind you. That gaze is to the left. You might stay right here with the left hand connected to the mat. Or maybe it feels good to stretch the left arm up or bind the left arm around the small of the back as we open up across the chest, across the front of the shoulders. And we welcome gratitude into mind, into heart, into body. Thanking these muscles of the chest, of the shoulders that allow us to pretty much do everything that we do in a vinyasa class. And very slowly, we'll come back to center and take it to the second side. Let's just stretch that left arm out to the left. Bend the right knee, rock onto the left side of the body. Right fingertips or hand might stay planted here. Or maybe it feels good to reach the right arm up or to bind the arm around the small of the back. And continue to send deep, slow, steady and smooth breaths into the front of that left shoulder, into the chest, into the heart. And we'll slowly come back to center. And let's stretch both arms back behind us now. Coming into a locust pose, so you can begin just floating the hands, the feet, and the chest above the mat. If you have that interlace of the fingers, interlace the fingers and stretch the knuckles back. And instead of letting the shoulders roll forward here, think about the front of the shoulders really rolling back here, shoulder heads rolling back, shoulder blades sliding down the back as the fingertips reach. And then maybe we stay here, enjoying this nice gentle back bend. Or we'll bend both knees, showing heels to the sky. And we might connect the hands to the outer or inner ankles for bow pose. So you can keep pressing the heels up to the sky. If we have the leg, then let's kick the leg into the hands to find even more lift through the chest. Anchor the pubic bone down here. Support that low back. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. One more breath here, but stay longer if you'd like. When you're ready, we'll slowly release thighs, chest, face, arms, feet down. And it might feel good to bend the knees and windshield wiper the legs side to side. Relax the legs back down, plant the hands, and press up to tabletop position, hands and knees. Wiggle the hips side to side. Maybe you jump rope the spine or circle the neck. Fingers spread wide, press the ground away, down dog, send the hips back. We're gonna move into a half pigeon pose. If you know that doesn't work for your knee, your hip, or 
any part of you, then maybe a supine figure four on your back or any other outer hip stretch you love. Inhale the right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, half pigeon pose, right knee towards right wrist, foot towards the left, and then we can relax down, scooch that left knee back, and then check in that we have the hips nice and level. We don't have one hip twisted forward or one hip twisted back. We're even here in the center. Fingertips on the mat, lift through the chest. Maybe you stay upright if you'd like to work through the front of the back hip. Or if we want to get into that outer right hip, we can start to crawl the hands forward and relax the torso over the front thigh. If the right cheek is really far from the ground, the right butt cheek, you might always slip a pillow or a block or a stuffed animal underneath that right bum to find a little more support in the pelvis. And relax the jaw. Soften the muscles of the face. And find five smooth, slow breaths in and out of the nose. Imagine each inhale bringing expansion, openness into the body. And each exhale softening you a little bit deeper, letting something that's clenching go. Take your final breath in and softening breath out. Inhale to slowly press back upright. And let's rock all the way onto that right cheek. Swing your left leg around. So left heel towards the front of the mat. Right foot connects to the inner left thigh. Inhale to Frame that left foot, lift through the chest, and exhale to fold forward over the left leg. Janu Shirshasana. So option to stay right here folding over that leg, or it might feel good to bring the left hand to the right knee, and then stretch the right arm up. And take a gentle side bend here. So you can imagine that hand was gonna grab onto the left foot, you can turn the chest up, or maybe we bring the right hand to the back of the head and turn the elbow and chest up. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale to slowly come back up from whatever variation you took. Release the right hand behind the back, stargazer, press the hips forward, lift the chest, lift the hips, stretch that left arm back. Take a full breath here, and exhale slowly, bring the bum back down. Hug the left foot into seated, and then plant the hands table top to downward facing dog, second side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to left elbow, foot towards right elbow, release the foot and the knee down. Coming into our half pigeon on the second side. You can stretch that right knee back. And just notice the difference between the sides as you set up. Lift through the chest, press fingertips into the mat. You might stay upright, or maybe it feels good to crawl the body forward and relax over that front thigh. Again, always option to bring a block or a pillow underneath that left butt cheek if the pelvis just is not sitting right in your mind. And can you unclench the jaw? Let the face relax, shoulders relax, and the breath relax. 
And as you deepen it, slow it down. Again, five smooth breaths. If your mind is already strayed away from that focus on the breath, return here two more. Full breath in. And a full breath out. Inhale, slowly press back upright. And then we'll rock the weight onto that left butt cheek, swing the right leg around. You can have that right leg all the way pointing forward. I like to come at a little bit of an angle so that right heel is off the mat a bit. Left foot connects to the inner thigh. Frame that right foot, lift through the chest, breathe in, chest is facing the foot, and then you can fold over the leg. Maybe the arms stretch forward or you grab the foot. Or if you'd like that revolved Janu Shirshasana variation, you can bring the right hand to the left elbow and stretch that left arm up and over as if it was going to grab the foot. Or maybe we bring the left hand to the back of the head and we turn the elbow up to the sky. Gaze up. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Inhale, slowly come back up. Release the left hand behind the thumbs. Stargazer, press the hips forward, reach that right arm back. Take a full inhale. And very slowly release the hips back down. We'll hug that right foot in. And then this time, let's bring the feet together to touch. Butterfly, let the knees relax down. We'll grab the outside edges of the feet, lift through the chest, and then let's rock back to a happy baby. Bringing the hands anywhere on the leg that feels best for you. That might be the shins, ankles, or feet. You can rock side to side. Maybe it feels good to bend and extend one leg at a time. And then relax the feet down. Keep the knees bent. Bring the arms out to a T. If you'd like to have a really deep twist here, then you might cross the right leg all the way over the left. We're going to pick the hips up and scooch them a couple inches over to the right. Pick the feet up. Let the knees fall to the left. Gaze to the right. It's a supine twist. Again, you can let the knees stack or you can cross the legs to bring a little bit more depth into this pose. Let the shoulder blades melt towards the ground. Face soft. And belly soft. Inhale, slowly come back up to center. Uncross the legs if you cross them. Bring those hips back through center and now to the left. Again, you can cross the left leg over right if you'd like. And then we'll let the knees fall to the right and gaze to the left. That belly is softly expanding with each breath. Letting go, not holding on to anything in the body. Not holding on to anything from practice. And just welcoming a full release as we head towards rest. And inhale. 
heels slowly back to center. Reposition hips even on the mat. Hug both knees into the chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. Hug the forehead up to the knees. Thank yourself for showing up to move your body, to breathe, to be on your mat. Take a full inhale. Shavasana, as you breathe out, let the legs and arms come out long or find any other position that is the most comfortable for your body. Just as we rest a couple of minutes here. Part the teeth, relax the jaw. And let the whole body just melt into this imprint it's creating on the ground. Use these last moments for rest, for stillness, for all of your hard work to soak in. Thank you for practicing. Namaste.